Hello everyone. In this series of uh, MetaTrader uh, 5, I'm going to show you how can you use MetaTrader uh, 5 to understand the code and also you can write the code uh, using a MetaTrader Copilot uh, which basically talks to the JetGPT Jet and GPT-4 and uh, fetch the results from there. So you can use it uh, free of course. So let's uh, have a look. Uh, I've uh, got a MetaTrader um, 5 open here. It's a, this is the MetaTrader. Um, Beta editor basically to write the code for your expert advisor, your trading robot. If you haven't got that open, uh, you can open it separately. Or if you've got a MetaTrader 5 open, you can click on um, IDE here and it can open up your Meta editor. So you can um, uh, open up an existing code if you got it from internet or somewhere, and then you can uh, select the code and see what that code is doing. Right click, and then you have that option explain via Copilot. You click on that, it basically um, Take that code, send it to the GPT, and then you have this uh, code explanation that this code is uh, doing Bollinger Band using Bollinger Band indicator, blah, 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 blah. And then you can read the whole stuff. But yeah, I, I undo for now. And uh, similarly, if you want to write the code, uh, let's start a new um, new expert advisor file, um, new. You can uh, um, you can use this uh, wizard to uh, create the code for you. But uh, let's, for this demonstration, go with an expert advisor template and click next. Um, it's going to save the code in the export folder. Let's call it um, um, test, testing, co-pilot. Okay. Um, you can give a new parameters here, but you don't have to. We go for uh, next. And then uh, the event that you want, you can select here. We can, uh, if you own chart, you need an event on trade, on trade transaction. You want to do certain things, it's going to create the events for these one. For now, I'll just uh, um, go with the standard one. Don't select it here. And then it also uh, let you choose uh, various tester event. Um, I'm not going to choose any. Uh, let's click finish and you have a skeleton for a trading robot. You can set your own copyright. Like you, you don't have to go, um, use the copyright for the, uh, as a meta port. You're writing your own expert advisor, your own code. So you can own the copyright and the link and the and you can maintain it here. So when your expert advisor gets loaded for the first time, uh, it, it, uh, trigger this uh, on init event and uh, once you close uh, once you close your meta trader or uh, once you close your uh, expert advisor or stop it so then this event uh, on the init gets triggered and uh, on tick basically whenever you get a new tick uh, this events uh, uh, get triggered and most of the time you write your uh, trading strategy uh, with an on tick so let's uh, I want to use the copilot to generate some code. So what you do, you do double two double slashes basically, which is uh, for the comments. And I say um, write the code for calculating yeah um, body and your back. Yep. And then uh, you basically select this command, and either you click this button, send prompt to the copilot for code gener generation, or you right click. And uh, you can say this is a prompt to copilot, right? And um, that's it. Uh, your basically code now. Uh, this command, which is, which act as a prompt to the GPT, and it gives you pass back uh, the whole code. Many times you will not be able to use this code as it is, but it gives you um, a skeleton to start with. Uh, you you get a good um, good idea of uh, how you're supposed to be doing this, right? Um, similarly, I can give it some other prompt, uh, um, and then you can adjust your prompt. You can say, write the code for, um, um, write the code for patching, Bollinger Band values, and you link built in functions. So let's see what do we get now. Click on the copy that button again, um, the cells code. And now you see, now we got uh, a different, uh, then different cells. Now, uh, then before previously, it has written all the code to calculate the Boolean band within, uh, within the code, but now it has uh, given us uh, and um, it, now it has used the built in I bands uh, uh, function which calculate uh, the Boolean band for you. And the other interesting uh, functionality uh, you need to know is uh, because it's using the GPT 4 and GPT 4 is still confused at, at least at the point of uh, uh, recording this video, it was still confused between the uh, MQL4 code and MQL5 code. It, it cannot distinguish it. Though it uh, seems very simple to me that uh, we're using the MQL5, so it should generate the MQL5 code. But what happens uh, uh, at the moment, it cannot distinguish 
uh, between the MQL4 and MQL5. And MQL4 and 5, they are entirely different of, you know, different code. code. Uh, for example, let's have a look this one. I this function I bands. So now you can see this bands are uh, this function I bands takes in how many parameters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So you select it. You click F one, and then you're gonna open up the help for uh, this function and that's set your file reference. And now see how many parameters it expects. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six parameters. So this functions only expect you to pass six parameters the first one uh, is a symbol and then the time frame you're looking at the period the folio bollinger band int and then the double deviation and other things but here you got the so why is that because if you double check that uh, go to google and you say mql4 and then you say i band so you you can open up uh, this documentation for um, MQS4 and have a look how many parameters are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exactly. So that means the code that's being generated here is uh, is for MQL4. It's not for MQL5. So it, it does make sense and match between the MQL5 and 4. So you need to be just aware of that and you can uh, you can fix it up uh, uh, some of the code for yourself. Hopefully these two are going to get better um, very soon. The, by the exponential rate uh, by which we we improving things it would be better but at least for now that's how it is um and it usually is pretty straightforward to fix up these codes because uh, once you're aware of that uh, it does this kind of thing then at least you get some logic you get some help for the functions and then you can modify uh, your code further to suit your need okay so that's it uh, for this video thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time with another um episode on trading using meta trader